Twin sisters from Pakistan have received Microsoft certification for the Power Platform Professionals at the age of 10. The twin sisters are the youngest to receive the certification in the world. The certification is for individuals who seek to create business solutions for their organizations or businesses using the Microsoft Power Platform. The 10-year-olds pursued the certification after six months of preparation during the COVID-19 pandemic. Earlier, my fellow anchor person Meher Shir spoke to the twin sisters about their achievement. Let's watch what the youngest Microsoft professional twins had to say. Congratulations, Zara Khan and Zanubia Khan. What an achievement. Thank, Thank you. you. Zara, how are you feeling after accomplishing such an incredible feat with your twin sister? It feels very nice. Uh, that I, and that I know that I have made my country and my parents proud. It gives a pleasant feeling that uh, it gives a pleasant feeling and helps us uh, in gaining more confidence. We feel very excited to take on more challenges. And Zanubia, what inspired you to go for the Microsoft Power Platform certification? What inspired both of you? Um, our father inspired us to do this and he also helped us in understanding the platform while our mother helped, motivated us to go for the examination. Now that you've both achieved this tremendous milestone, what are your future plans? We haven't discussed future plans yet, but we would like to continue in computer sciences and continue in Power Platform certifications. So we will be seeing a lot more of you two then. I'd like to do the I would like to do the same, but I would also like to uh, positively contribute to the society. So as twin sisters, you've both achieved this milestone together. It must have brought you both closer together. Do you do other activities together as well, and do you have other personal goals? We read, we swim, we cycle. And when you're not doing any of those, we play. Excellent. There are, Excellent. Some, there are times we don't agree on everything, but usually we have the same schedule. And how does it feel to have accomplished this with your sister? This question is for both of you. It feels very great and it helps us gaining more confidence and, and we can take on more challenges. Exactly. Being a father, Adil, what resources do you think are essential for any parent like you to provide to their children to develop specific interests and talents? I think uh, most important is to we have to go back to the basics. That is, surround children with books, uh, let them have the ability to read. Uh, the most important skill in next five to ten years is the ability to self-learn. And, and you need to ensure that your kids are, you know, having that ability and you build them, you improvise on it and, and create the, you know, environment within the family to accomplish educational activities while they are young so that they get into the habit of learning. Uh, and uh, as long as uh, the topic of you know resources resources are uh, abundant today, you can get a lot of resources from uh, you know education resources from internet, from uh, various other resources. But you need to be careful that uh, and and uh, and really engage with your uh, kids that, and to understand what is their interest and how they want to really get engaged into uh, activities. Adil, how do you and your wife feel knowing that your two daughters have not just made you proud and have made all of Pakistan proud, but they have achieved such a significant accomplishment? How does it feel to be a parent of such talented and wonderful young smart girls? Uh, we are really overwhelmed with the appreciation and love we have received from not only from back home but also from around the world and, and it adds a pressure that now we have to, we have, they have set an expectation and we need to make sure that they continue to meet that expectation or exceed that expectation. So as much as we get, you know, real, uh, you know, we, we feel really humbled and honored but we also now feel the pressure of, you know, doing more and more. 
So the Zara and Zenobia both have told me that they want to continue along this path following their interest and their passion for computer sciences. As parents, I know now the pressure is too high. Your girls have set the bar so high. What do you want your daughters to do in the future? Do you want them to follow this path and stick to computer science? What other goals do you have in mind for them? Yeah, I mean, uh, they're young. They are just 10 now. So we don't have any exact uh, target. Or, and to be honest, this is probably coming from last decades learning that Today, the kind of, uh, you know, in, even in the corporate market, if you see the kind of jobs and roles are, they are not what we used to hear about or what we used to know about, you know, if, when we were growing up. So that is why it is important that uh, as a parent, what the, the, the most important thing that we feel is that we should uh, give them the ability to learn and self-learn so that whatever career they choose, whatever uh, passion, uh, you know, wherever their passion drives them, they should be able to go forward. But yes, uh, we want to make sure that they have a good technical sense because I think that's the most important skills that we need to give to our children today. Well said, Adil. Now, Zara and Zenobia, one last question from both of you. What would you like to say to other kids around the world, other Pakistani kids here and abroad? Any message you would want to share, or any inspiration you would like to give? Keep learning and keep reading. Keep reading as much as possible books. Thank you, Zara, Zenubia, and Adil for joining us here on Indus News. Glad to be here. Thank you. Bye.